Now, Preston Sharp, you've cer certainly heard of him in our area, but yeah. he's gained a lot of fame all over the country. You remember, he's he dedicated a lot of his childhood to uh, fallen, uh, honoring fallen veterans by placing flags on graves all over the country. And new at 5.30, Action News Network reporter Lauren Cooper went out to one of his flowers and flag ceremonies in Igo to find out the next step in his legacy. There are about 5,000 veterans buried here at the Northern California Veterans Cemetery in Igo, and every single one of them gets a flag and a flower to honor their service. That's thanks to the work of Preston Sharp, who's been doing this for about a decade. While Sharp is currently in Ohio, his mother led today's event to keep the tradition alive. You place a flag and you place a red carnation and then you say the veteran's name out loud and then thank you for your service. And the reason why we say a veteran's name out loud and thank you for your service is because a veteran's name not said out loud is that veteran forgotten. She estimates about 75 people came out to help including veteran Larry Loveland who served in the Vietnam War. It means a lot. It means that our boys are, and gals are being recognized. Do you think seeing like so many young people and kids coming out is like a, a good foot forward to how veterans will be treated? That is the best thing about this is to see these kids that are coming out here. I always love seeing kids out here because they, they learn that, you know, what our veterans are all about. Sharp tells me they are still looking for more volunteers to come out May 29th to help with cleanup. Otherwise, they may not be able to come back. So they said, you know, we need to make sure that we have um, enough people to pick them up. Um, otherwise, we won't be able to honor our veterans on Veterans Day. Sharp says 75 to 100 people would be enough to get the ball rolling. Now, Preston Sharp, the man who started this tradition when he was just 10 years old and has brought this service to all 50 states, is going to be bringing it across seas this week to Normandy, France, so he can bring the same honor to American veterans no matter how far away they are buried. I'm Lauren Cooper reporting in Shasta County with Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. The cleanup day is Wednesday, May 29th at 3.30 in the afternoon. I wonder if when Preston started this, if he could have ever had any idea what his life would become because of an idea like this. I'm, I'm thinking probably not, yeah. right? But it just carried on. And, and you'll recall, and our viewers will recall, that he was actually invited to uh, a, a President Trump State of the Union address. Mm -hmm. I think it was in 2018. Yeah. So he, he's deserving of that honor for sure.